Last week, we discussed, is it worth it to do paint and carpet? This week, we're gonna look at seven things that you can do to get your house ready to sell for top dollar and quickly. And we'll let your Chandler specialist at the phoenixrealestateguide.com website. And today, we're gonna to continue what we just started talking about last week, and that's getting your house ready to sell. The first thing is finding a great real estate agent. And I'm not saying that just because I'm a real estate agent. I'm saying that because you need somebody who's gonna have a plan on how to get the most feet through that door because feet through the door is what's gonna to lead to your house selling. Second is pricing your house to sell. You need to price it right. If you price it too high, you're not gonna get enough traffic through there and it's gonna sit on the market for a while. What happens when it sits on the market for a while is then people start thinking, hey, this has been on the market for 30, 40, 50 days. I can probably get a bargain here and you're gonna lose any negotiating power that you have. Where if you price it right, you're gonna get a lot of traffic through the door immediately and you can start negotiating with strength. The third thing you need to do is a little cosmetic changes. And that can be paint and that can be carpet and that can be updating some little fixtures, getting your house ready to sell. Make sure it looks like it's not a worn out house. Make sure it looks fairly good. Something that's going to attract buyers to make them think that this house was taken care of. The fourth thing you're gonna do is what I call the three Ds, declutter, depersonalize and de-pet. What decluttering does is gonna make it look bigger, more open, and more clean. We really want to get everything we can out of the house. Depersonalizing is taking out all your pictures. When, you, when somebody's walking through the house, you want them to be able to see themselves and their family in that house. And having pictures of your family all over the place is not gonna help with that process. And the final D is de-pet. Get as much of the pet stuff out of there as possible. Make sure the pets are not there for showings. Make it as friendly as possible to people who are looking to buy the house. And the fifth thing is clean like you're getting ready for a military inspection. If you spent time in the military in boot camp, you know what it's like. The drill sergeant's gonna come through, look at everything top to bottom, gonna look, gonna open your locker, gonna look through everything, and it needs to be in tip top shape. If you have to, hire a professional. You may be surprised at how affordable it is. It's worth it to get your house a nice deep clean. Six, after you've done the cleaning, after you've done the repairs, after you've done the 3Ds and all that, now you wanna invite your family and friends over. Have them do a smell test. I don't care what you think it smells like, you're used to it. Have families and friends come and give you honest assessment. If you've done the paint and you've done carpet and you've done a deep cleaning, it should be pretty good. If not, identify what odors are lingering and take care of them. And finally, I would consider a staging consultation. You can get your house professionally staged or you can hire a stager to come in for consultation. The, what they'll do is they'll walk through the house and they'll tell you what they would do for staging. Take their advice. It's gonna make the house look better. It's gonna make it show better. And remember, that first impression is everything. When people walk in the house, you want them to think, yeah, this is a place I wanna raise my family. So there you go, seven tips to help you get ready to sell your house. If you got any thoughts or questions on that, leave a comment below or shoot me an email, dean at phoenixrealestateguide.com. And until my next walk, have a good one.